In this video, we will learn how we can set up customers on our Magento website. Let's say a new customer is added to your website. So what all options you can show to him or her? Here we will see that let's say you want to update the fields which is visible to him. You can easily go for it. Or let's say if you want to provide more password reset options, you want to provide captcha settings, you can easily provide to the user. Now here you can see how to reach it. First, log into your website as an admin. After logging here, you can see the dashboard options are visible. Now, go to stores, click on it on the left menu. After clicking here, you can see under settings, click on configuration. Now here you can see the configuration settings are visible. Now the journal tab is visible. Here you can see the options are visible. Click on customers tab. Under that click on customer configuration because we need to configure the customer fields. Here you can see the options are visible for customer configuration. Here you can see online customer option. These are the interval. If you will leave it blank, it will go for the default 15 minutes. Let's say if a user is logged in for 15 minutes and he is idle then it will automatically redirect to lockup. You can change the minutes here. Account sharing options. Here you can see it is for per website. That is this account will be available for a particular website. Keep as it is. Here are the create new account options. Here you can see enable automatic assignment to customer group. If you will go for yes, it will automatically go and add you to a customer group if a new user is adding. Want to add a default group? Yes, you can add it. If you want to change a default group, here you can see click on view system value if you want to go for a default role as a wholesaler or retailer you can easily add it but right now keep it as journal only moving to the other options here you can see default value for disable automatic group changes based on VAT ID these are settings for VAT if you want to show the VAT number on storefront you can easily show it from here but right now keep it as default here you can see the default as value for disabling automatic group changes based on VAT ID is also no so keep it as it is no right now because the default settings are global settings if you want to show the VAT number of storefront you can select yes from here here you can see the default email domain you need to change it the welcome email you need to send a welcome email to user with password you can send it from here if the user are logged in without a password you can send these settings to him sender if you want to change the sender let's say the user is getting emails from the website if you want to go it through customer representative or general contact you can change from here the default is general contact let's change it to customer representative here you can see you can change it for customer support after that you can click here so now you can see other settings are visible requires email confirmation if you want you can set it as yes also the confirmation link email if you want it for new account confirmation email template, you can go for it. Want to send the welcome email, you can go for it. Generate humor friendly customer ID. No, if you want to go for the default ID which gets random generated automatically, you can click yes here. Now moving to the password options. Here you can see the password reset protection type. You can go by IP and email. These are all for security settings. Maximum number of password reset request 5. Here you can see. Minimum time between password reset request, this is 10 minutes, you can delay it, but keep it at 10 minutes for making your password reset option more secure. Let's say if, I, if an unauthorized author or customer is trying to add to a website, then these options are quite useful. Here you can see the forget password settings, the other options are reset password templates, you can change it from here. These are other options like recovery link expiration period towards. Let's say if a user is recovering his password, the link sent to his email will be available only for two hours. Here you can see. Here are the maximum login failures to lockout account 10. After 10, the lock, lock will the account will be locked completely. Minimum password length. Here you can set the password length, the lock all time, as well as the name and address option. If you want to show three lines under the street address, you can add it here. Here, if you want to show the middle name option also, you can add it. Other options are where someone want to go for the customer date of birth, you can add it, VAT number, want to show the gender option like male and female, he or she can check it. The next one is login option, if you want to redirect customer to account dashboard, yes we want to redirect so that the user can check his customer dashboard with its orders and other stuff, he can also track orders from there, you can go for yes. Here are the address template, keep it as it is, captcha if you want to enable capture on storefront for new customer you can easily enable it 
So in this video, we learned all about customer configuration. Let's say a new user is added to your website in the form of a general customer or as a wholesaler or retailer, you can show these options to them. You can also add different options like if you want three lines for street address, if you want to enable address options or want to enable middle line options, you can easily go for it. You can add more stuff to the website through this. Thank you for watching.